What's up guys and girls and welcome back to another edition of The Cocktail Guy. And if this is your first time watching me or visiting my channel, welcome. I upload two videos a week. At the beginning, I upload my Classics vs Riffs playlist in which I look into classic cocktails and attempt my own version of a reboot or a riff that I serve alongside that classic. Towards the end of the week, I upload my second video which generally focuses on cocktail recipes but occasionally I dive into making your own home hack version of a spirit or a liqueur. In today's video, I want to share with you my version of the evocatively named Porn Star Martini, a stripped back and stirred down version that sees us turning this into this. So keep watching guys, and I hope you enjoy. Porn Star Martini is a modern day classic created by Douglas Ankara right here in the UK in the early noughties, back in the Townhouse Bar in West London. It has fast become a modern day classic cocktail comprising of vanilla vodka, passion fruit liqueur, passion fruit puree, and is served alongside a palate cleansing shot of bubbles, normally Prosecco or Champagne. Now my more sophisticated stir down version omits the side of bubbles and instead replaces it with some pale cream sherry, which is stirred down with the vanilla vodka, the clarified passion fruit, some vanilla bitters, some saline solution, and is altogether a creamy, more luxurious sipping version of this classic. Now, if you're looking for an alternate passion fruit martini, click the link here, where you will find my home hack kitchen porn stars made using your own passion fruit liqueur. In any case, either of these recipes are fantastic, and I hope you look forward to making them, and here we go. Now before we start making the cocktail, the first ingredient we need to make is our clarified passion fruit puree. Now all you're gonna need is a passion fruit puree. I've gone with Funkin here, but you don't have to use the same brand. And a speciality ingredient called Pectinex. Now this ingredient is a speciality enzyme which breaks down pectin normally found in fruit. What this does is it enables us, once filtering, to hold back all of the fibers and the textures normally associated or found in purees and fruit juices and what will it give us is a uber lush and full flavored clarified juice. Now I use this enzyme when making a clarified banana juice, clarifying tomato juice, and of course purees. It doesn't take any more specialist ingredients or techniques than this. You can buy this online. I will drop the link below the description. All you need to do in order to make this ingredient is heat your desired quantity of your puree. Now for this recipe, I have taken 500 mils of passion fruit puree. I have heated it on the hob on a warm heat and to it, I have mixed in 1% of Pectinex. Mix it in, turn down the heat, turn off the heat, allow it to cool, give it an hour and then filter it gradually through some coffee paper. Throw away or re-filter the first 15, 20 mils but after some time, what you will find is you've ended up with this clarified passion fruit. Now you can put this in the fridge to allow it to continue clarifying. You will end up with approximately 300 to 350 mil. So there is a proportion that will be lost. And that is just because of the filtration. And, and here is the puree that's been left behind. But that's plenty for this cocktail and for other ingredients. Now this cocktail can, as well as being stirred down, be served long. It can be carbonated. If you're fortunate enough to have a, a soda stream machine at home, I recommend you doubling the proportions of this cocktail, adding it to a soda stream bottle, carbonating it a few times, leaving it in the fridge just to chill, recarbonating it again because the colder the temperature of a cocktail, the tighter the, the, the pressure, of the tighter the concentration of the bubbles, and then serve it long over ice and it is delicious. Take my word for it. But this is the ingredient. Now we're going to get on with the cocktail. So we're gonna stir down this cocktail and the first ingredient I'm gonna be adding is my vanilla vodka. And today I've gone with Grey Goose's Lavani. And I'm gonna be adding 35 mils. The second ingredient I'm gonna be adding is my pale cream sherry. Now this replicates the, the dry wine notes of the Prosecco or the Champagne that was traditionally served alongside the Porn Star Martini. And I'm going to be adding 25 mils. You can replace the pale cream sherry with a Fino if you wish, 
tried it, it's also very nice. And then we're gonna add our clarified passion fruit puree. 25 mils. Some sugar syrup. Gonna add two bar spoons. So this is approximately five mils, depending on the size of a bar spoon. This is a two and a half mil bar spoon. Now I'm also gonna add some vanilla bitters, which I have here. I've gone with Bob's Vanilla Bitters. Again, I'll drop the link below the video. I'm gonna add some acid. The reason I'm gonna add some citric acid, and this is a citric acid solution, this is a 20% solution. So what we have here is 100 mils of water and 20 grams of citric acid powder. I'm gonna add five drops. Now the reason I'm adding some citric acid is I find that the passion fruit puree, the concentration of the passion fruit flavors is a more tart than it is citrus uh, ingredient. So I wanted the acidity as well as the tartness in this cocktail. And the last thing I'm gonna be adding is three drops of a saline solution. And this saline solution is again the same ratio as the citric acid, it's 20%. So it's 100 mils of water, 20 grams of salt. I'm using Malden flaked salt. Uh, and what I find that uh, by adding this saline solution is it, it, it brightens flavors, it subdues bitterness, it brightens tartness, it brightens those more aromatic notes that you want in this cocktail. It's delicious. Give them a mix. Add our ice. And give it a stir. Now stirring, we're looking for about, I don't know, 60 revolutions, so about 20 seconds. And stirring a cocktail, especially one like this, is so, so important because not only does it chill a cocktail, but it dilutes it as well. So we're marrying all those flavors. There we go. The all important taste test. Very nice. Okay. Here is our glass. Now you can serve this straight up in a martini glass if you wish. I, I've got a very large martini glass here, so I'm actually gonna put a couple of blocks of ice in this, just because I want to still serve this over ice. So what I have here is some beautiful clear ice that I've chipped away at all my leftovers from making my block ice. And I'm going to st strain this over the ice. And there we go. And there you have it guys, our reformed porn star martini, our more refined sipping version of the semi-classic cocktail from the UK that was shaken. We've still got our vanilla vodka in there. We've we haven't got the passion fruit liqueur, but what we have replaced it with is a clarified, more concentrated passion fruit puree. The creaminess and the kind of more aromatic wine notes found it in our pale cream sherry, some vanilla bitters, some saline solution, and some citric acid. Let's give this a go. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I do love deceptively looking cocktails. It looks simple, it tastes anything, but I love the hunks of ice that's served in this. Oh, that's a beaut. That's delicious. It's got texture, it's got vanilla, it's got the, the tartness of the passion fruit. It's it's got texture, though it's stirred down. It's great. Love it. Okay, guys, I do hope you enjoy making. As I've said before, I will drop all of the links for all the ingredients that I've included in this video below the video. Uh, I haven't said so yet, but if you know me very well by now, I will say it again. Please do smash that bell so you're aware of any new content as it uploads. 
Drop any comments below should you have any questions, but as always guys, please do subscribe to this channel. I would love to see it grow. Until the next time guys, I hope you enjoy making. Let me know how you get on and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Oh!